Hello guys, I am Wendy um, from Wendy's Library Channel and today's book topic <coughs> is Christmas in Camelot. So I'm going to tell you about this book, like how it is, and let's begin. So this topic is Christmas in Camelot, which is you a lot we know about it and so we're gonna start so about this book it's gonna be a, <laughs> it's gonna be um chapter one christmas in camelot um so jack and Annie, like it is christmas this little oh, it's like almost christmas eve you guys are happy all right but Jack and Annie, when, like, saw, <coughs> they saw, wait a minute, I forgot, um, Morgan, like, um, so they didn't saw her for a long time, so they went to the treehouse to see who it is, and, um, I'll get, I'll go get my whiteboard. So guys, I got my whiteboard set up right here, and um, I will write a today's topic sentence um, for this whole weekend, and I'll also give you a test. If you guys comment down below my channel, then I'll just give you guys a test about this book. So this topic sentence is chapter one. Chapter one. So let me see. Jack, number one. Jack and Annie. Didn't saw Morgan and Annie didn't saw Morgan. Morgan, um, leave late. <coughs> Anyways, Morgan for a long time. A long time. Okay, so I want you guys to answer this question. Jack and Annie didn't saw Morgan for a long time because what? You guys find out what's the um, problem in the story. Why Morgan couldn't see Jack and Annie for a long time. Okay. That's this week's topic sentence. Oh, should I keep writing? <clears throat> so guys, this is a topic sentence for chapter one. Um, chapter one, Christmas in Camelot. 
So um, the topic sentence is Jack and Emmy didn't saw um <coughs> didn't go to Magic Tree House for a long time because they were busy. That's good, but that's too short. So you guys gotta make it like long sentence because you guys are in third graders. There's also a second grade video, which is shorter, but, and there's also, um, there's only until third graders because for book clubs, fourth, fifth, sixth, you guys are going to be good. So it's okay. So I only do it until third graders because I am third grade also. So yeah, this is the main topic sentence. And <clears throat> we'll move, move, so we'll move. So guys, this is going to be the topic sentence where, what I already told you. Um, is it okay if I change my background? Uh, so yeah. Okay. 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 So I'm going to change my background. So, guys, I changed my background to this place. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> I'll read you chapter one. <clears throat> Wait, that's chapter two. Oh, yeah. Kind of along. You gotta visualize <clears throat> or think what's gonna happen next. Sunlight had faded from the late afternoon sky. Puffy snow clouds were moving in. Let's hurry, I'm cold, said Jack. He and Annie were walking home from school. Their Christmas vacation was just beginning. Coo, coo. Wait, said Annie. Look, she pointed to a white bird sitting on a bare tree branch at the <clears throat> edge of the woods. The bird was staring straight at them. It's a dove, um, Jack said, said Jack. I'll show you that picture for chapter one. You guys could see it, visualize it. <clears throat> it's a dove, said Jack. It's a messenger, said Annie from Morgan. From Morgan? No, Jack said, um, afraid to get his hopes up. They hadn't seen Morgan Lee play in a long time. He, he really miss, missed her. Yes, said Annie. She has a mission for us. I can't feel it. <coughs> in the hush of the cold twilight, the dove spread its wings and flew into the frog creek woods. Come on, said Annie. The tree house is back. You're just hoping, said Jack. <coughs> I'm knowing, said Annie. She ran into the woods following the white dove. Oh, brother, said Jack. But he took, <coughs> he took off after Annie. Even in the growing darkness, says, um, they easily found, found their way. They zigzagged between bare trees and ran over the frozen ground until they came to the tallest oak in the woods. See, said Annie, pointing to the top of the tree. Yeah, whispered Jack. And there it was the magic tree house. Morgan! And he shouted and he Jack held his breath, waiting to see the enchantress at the tree house window. But Morgan did not appear. And he grabbed the rope ladder and started up. 
Jack swallowed. When they climbed inside the treehouse, Jack saw something lying on the floor. It was a scroll rolled up and tied with a red velvet ribbon. Jack picked up the scroll and unrolled it. The thick yellow paper shimmered with large gold writing. Wow, Morgan sent us a really fancy note. Setting. It's an invitation, said Jack. Listen. <coughs> so I'll read you guys the invitation, which is, which is this page right here. Dear Jack and Annie, please accept this royal in, in, <coughs> invita invitation to spend Christmas in the kingdom of Canada. M. Do you know, do you guys know what M stands for? At last chapter, you guys will find out. I know who it is. It wasn't Morgan. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Morgan. So, let's keep reading the chapter. Christmas in Camelot. Christmas. <sighs> okay, I'll read it. Christmas in Camelot, said Annie. I don't believe it. Cool, whispered Jack. She pictured a beautiful glowing castle lit with candles and filled with knights and ladies feasting and singing. We're going to celebrate Christmas with Morgan and King Arthur, said Annie. It wasn't King Arthur either, because King Arthur doesn't start with N. But Morgan does. But it wasn't Morgan. Whoever's reading with me, you guys could see the last chapter and see who was, um, who invited them to their, um, the Christmas in Camelot. So, we're almost done with the chapter. Uh, I'll keep reading it for you. Beautiful glowing castle with lit candles and with knights and ladies feast, feasting and singing. We're going to celebrate Christmas with Morgan and King Arthur, said Annie, and Queen Guinevere. Yay, said Jack, and the Knights of the Round Table. Huh? Kn Knights of the Round Table, like Sir Lincoln. Let's go, said Annie. Where's the book? She and Jack looked around the treehouse for a book about Camelot. The book, <coughs> the only book they saw was Penis Little Book that always brought them home. That's strange, said Jack. Morgan didn't send <coughs> a book about Camilla with royalty invitation. How did she accept us to get there? I don't know, said Annie. Maybe she forgot. Jack picked up the invitation. He read it again. He turned it over, hoping to find more information. The back of the scroll, scroll was blank, blank. He handed the invitation to Amy. She must have forgotten, said, <coughs> he said. Darn, said Annie, staring at the gold writing. I really wish to go, I really wish we could go to the camel. The tree, the tree branches rustled. The wind began to blow. What's happening, said Jack. I don't know, said Annie. Wait a minute, said Jack. You were holding the invitation and you made a wish. That must make the magic work, cried Annie. Jack felt shirk of joy. We're going to Camelot, he said. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still obviously still okay that's the end of our chapter and this is a topic sentence what you guys could see and um see you next week bye and comment down below and subscribe to our channel bye